Hey Nancy, it's Tori with Salutio, and today we're going to go over how to add the caption to the images for our album. Um, a couple of things before we go into that. Um, I did want to mention that I did add the button to the photo gallery page, um, and if there's any problems with that, just let me know. It just takes you to a hidden page that shows you all the previous albums we had created for the website. And again, that's found if you go to photo galleries and then just click on archived photo galleries. It'll take you there. Um, the second thing I wanted to mention is I noticed this today, um, just now actually. Um, if you scroll through your rotators, you'll notice that a couple of them are pretty large uh, images. I would recommend resizing them because the bigger the image is, the longer it's going to take the web page to load, especially if it's on mobile. So if you have any parishioners or anyone looking at the website, on their phones or even on their computer but mostly on their phones it's going to take a while for it to download so i would recommend resizing your image um, to better fit that rotator size and i'll show that to you when we go on through the back end so um, just a couple of things to keep in mind so to go to the back end again just scroll down to the bottom of the page click the icon and then right here to resize the rotator you would just click this and it's automatically resize. And you'll notice that right next to it, there is a Canva resize and caption album photos. So what this is, is it's just um, a pre-size configuration I created. So if you click on it, it's gonna take you to a new web page. I'm gonna close a couple of my other tabs, sorry. Um, it's gonna take you to a web page and you may have to log into Canva um, in order to see any of the information that you've done in the past um, so you don't have to keep logging in every time you need to create a new image. Um, I know we walked over through that the last time we had met but again if we need to go over it on Wednesday we can certainly do that. Um, so now that we're on Canva now what we're going to do is we're going to download the images and add the caption and this is going to be step one for the album. Again there's a couple steps in it um, but just in the end, it's going to make it all look a lot better um, and more uniform if we can keep it all consistent. So again, step one is resizing the images and then adding the caption. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples, one with a horizontal or landscape image and then one with a vertical or portrait style in image. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to download an image from my file explorer or file manager and I'm just gonna drag and drop it okay so I downloaded some sunflowers because they're my favorite flower and we're just gonna stretch this until it meets the entire white box and resize that once we have that done on the left hand side you'll notice that it, there's a couple of tabs we're gonna click the one that says text and then we're gonna add one of these. Um, you can, if there's a lot of text, I would recommend using the subheading instead of the heading. If most of the images don't have a lot of text, I would go ahead and just use the bigger one. Um, but again, whatever you do, try to keep it uniform as much as possible just because it's going to make the aesthetics of the album and of the website just flow all the more. So um, in this instance, let's go ahead and use the add a heading. And you'll notice that this is always going to pop up in the middle of the image. So we're going to have to drag it to wherever we want. Now I want mine to be in the center and then down at the bottom. So that's centered for the bottom. Um, and I also want it to be white text instead of black. Again, it doesn't really matter which text color you use. Just try to keep it consistent as much as possible. I do realize that some images you may not be able to use white because like the background's white um, and the same thing with black. So you may have to flip a couple of them, but I would just try to be as consistent as possible. So to change the coloring, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the entire thing and I just left click twice and we're going to click text color and then we're going to change it to white. And again, you can use any color. Uh, but I would recommend either black or white. Once we have the color changed, we're going to go ahead and give it a uh, subtitle. So for this, let's go ahead and do a 
Let's do field of sunflowers. Okay. So now that we have the text and caption there, what we're going to do is we're going to download the image to our computer. So when we hit that download button, it's going to pop up with all of this information. You just want to make sure it says PNG. Um, you can change it to JPEG, but I would just recommend a PNG. And then we're going to hit download. Now when we hit download, it's going to pop up with this. You can just ignore that and then X out of it. Um, now the download is going directly to our computer. It is not going to the website. So we're in step three, I believe, we're going to have to upload that to the website. So don't worry um, about finding it yet. So, so we have this one done. So I'm going to show you how to do a portrait orientation image now. I'm going to delete that and to delete the image all I did was select it and then hit the delete button on my keyboard. So I'm going to upload another one and I'm going to do a plate of steak because it looks good. So we're just going to resize it as much as possible without losing a lot of the image itself. So you'll notice how we, if we make it bigger and everything, it tends to shift the focus. So we're just going to make it as big as we possibly can. And there may be a background color and that's okay. Um, if you want to change the background color, all you have to do is click it and then change it to wherever you want. Since it's a darker picture, I'm just going to go ahead and change the background to black. I think it looks a little better. Um, but it's really up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, again, I would just try to keep it consistent as much as possible. So now that we have this orientation resized, again, we're going to go back down to the text and we're going to click the text style we want. So we're going to do just the same thing we did. We're going to do the heading and a yummy steak dinner. Okay, and since I'm a stickler for conformity, I'm going to make sure everything's capitalized. Okay, so this one's done now. I'm going to just move it down a little bit to make it look a little better. Okay, so we're going to download this the exact same way. It's going to download to our downloads folder on our computer. And that's how you're going to add the caption to your images. So again, this is just step one. So after we've done all of our images, um, let's go ahead and go back to the control panel. And I just have another tab open. You may have to actually go back to the website and then go in the back end. So once that's done, what we can do now is we can go to Albanizer. So we're going to click that and this is going to take us to where we're going to make our albums. And you can either drag and drop your images here. Um, or you can click to upload it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click the two images we just did. I'm going to open. And it's going to download both of them into this album. And there we go. So we have the caption of the images and then we have the iframe code and this is what we're going to need to embed this album into the website. So we're just going to copy this iframe code and to copy it you can either highlight it and then right click and select copy or you can use the shortcut which is to hold down the control button and push C as in Charlie and that's the shortcut for copying. Once we have this iframe code what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the control panel. So that was step two was to get the iframe code. We're going to, so step three is to create the article and put that album inside the website. So again, we're going to go to article manager and I'm already in photo gallery since I was doing some work on it before the video. So I'm just going to hit new button and I'm going to do a test article just to make sure it works. So this is a test article. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click that source code button 
on the toolbar of the editing page for the article. And again, the source code is just this one right here. It has those two caret brackets. We're going to click that and then we're going to paste our code, iframe code. And again, you can either do that by clicking our your right click and then pasting. Or if you want the short code, um, you're just going to hold down that control button and click B as in Victor and that will paste it. So that both ways will do it. So we're going to hit OK and that's going to embed that album into the test article. So we're going to save it because we're going to check our work. And then we're going to go to the page and then go to photo gallery just to check our work. And yep, it's showing up. Um, if for some reason this wouldn't show up, you may have to do a hard refresh. And again, a hard refresh is done by holding the control button and then pushing F5. And that's going to clear everything and you should be able to see the album there. Um, again, Nancy, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, I will be in the office um, and be available tomorrow for a couple hours in the morning. Um, but other than that, I'll be in meetings the rest of the day. Um, if you have any questions, you can also call our service line um, and Joel would be more than able to help you. He'll be working support tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you have a great evening, Nancy. Thanks and God bless.